In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use Ecamm Live with Microsoft Teams. I'll be showing you the basic steps that you need to take to uh, enable this to be possible, <laughs> but then also having a look at some of the uh, advanced settings that you may want to just check to make sure you are getting the absolute best quality sound and audio within Teams for you and your participants. Uh, and then we'll have a look at, whilst you are in a meeting, some of the settings that you may want to check there uh, so that you're having the best experience as well as your uh, meeting participants, especially if you are going to be giving presentations and things like that. So uh, let's dive into it. This is going to be using the Ecamm Live virtual mic and virtual camera features, which are part of the pro plan, I should just say. Um, let's come over to Ecamm Live in uh, live demo mode. And then what I'm going to do is just come up to the output menu. And then from the output menu, we have the virtual cam and virtual mic. So just make sure that those are both toggled on. If you've never used them before, you will see a little thing that says install uh, virtual cam, install virtual mic. Uh, just go ahead and do that. It will prompt you for your system password. So just pop in your password and then it'll take a couple of seconds and you'll be good to go. Uh, basically, what these two features are doing is they are taking, uh, in the case of the virtual camera, it's taking all of your eCam feed, you know, the, uh, the output, the production that is going out just like you're seeing from me now it's taking that all and then it is presenting it to your computer as if it was a camera source um, so then when you're in other apps you can just go and select that as the camera and so you're taking all of the production value of ecamm live with all the different screen sharing options all that sort of stuff uh, it's taking that all into into the application of your choice in this case teams obviously now the virtual mic is something that was added in ecamm live version 3.10 and that does for audio what the camera did for the uh, the video feed uh, so basically, it allows you to take all of the audio out of Ecamm Live, including your mic, but also any sound effects, movie uh, scenes and things like that that you've got with audio. It then feeds that into the uh, particular application uh, by presenting it to the computer as if it was a microphone. And so then you can just simply select that in the app of your choice. Uh, so I've basically now just told you how to do it. Let me show you how to do it, shall I? <laughs> There's an idea for a, th uh, for a tutorial. Uh, so let me come over to uh, here now that you understand what those two things are. Uh, I'm in Microsoft Teams and if you come up to your little avatar in the top corner, uh, click on the little three buttons here for settings. Uh, so we're going to click on those just in this uh, top corner uh, and then come down to the uh, settings here. Uh, click on settings uh, and then within settings we've got uh, a number of different things. We've got general, accounts, privacy, notifications and then this one here, devices with a picture of a little uh, headphones and microphone headset. So click on that one. And now we are at the top of this list, we've got audio devices. Um, so the uh, first thing here is the uh, the audio devices and speaker and microphone. So we just want to come down to this microphone. Actually, I want to leave the uh, speaker as it is. Uh, but if I just click on here, then we've got a whole list of different uh, potential things we can use. But what we're looking for here is the Ecamm Live virtual mic. It's this one. So we're just going to come and select that. So now uh, that is now taking the audio from uh, Ecamm Live and that is all just feeding into here. If you want to test that, you can actually uh, just make a test call. Uh, you've got an option here though to automatically adjust mic sensitivity. That's going to mean that it is then taking control over your audio settings. Now, uh, you may be in two minds about this or maybe you hadn't thought about it but basically if you are paying a little bit of care and attention to your audio as all fine folks at Ecamm Live do or, or Ecamm Live users do I should say uh, then you may not want um, them to uh, teams to be actually managing your audio for you you may want to just do this yourself uh, and so you could here just think about disabling that one because you're going to be in control and watching your levels and things like that uh, and so you want to control that yourself. Uh, bearing in mind that as with Zoom, you know, Teams is just trying to account for every possibility. Uh, and so you could have people joining Teams calls where they're, you know, using their built in uh, mic on their laptop, they've got their Mac you know, uh, their uh, laptop fans running, uh, maybe they're in a noisy environment and all those sorts of things. So uh, they're assuming that, you know, you're not taking care over these things. But as I say, as an Ecamm Live user, I'm sure you are taking some care over this. Uh, next one is noise suppression. Now this one might be on by default. I have already switched it off, um, but that is gonna try and block out any background noise. Again, you may or may not want this one on. It just depends um, if you, um, uh, you know, the environment that you're working in. Uh, I prefer to just have all of these sort of uh, uh, audio processing things within Teams. I prefer to have them all off so that I can be in control of these things. Uh, next one is high fidelity music mode and this one will be off by default but you may want to toggle that one on. That's going to give you the absolute best quality or it will present the 
uh, sorry, it will deliver the best quality audio from you <laughs> uh, over uh, Teams. Um, so even though you might not be uh, playing your piano or guitar or something like that on the call, uh, this is basically just going to enable this higher quality uh, audio. And so once again, if you are, you know, investing in your audio setup and you are putting some care and attention into it, uh, then for me, it makes sense to actually maximize the yeah, the quality that you're getting over, over Teams. So just enabling this uh, high fidelity music mode might be uh, something that you want to consider. Bear in mind, uh, there's a similar thing with Zoom that you can do for this as well uh, called Original Sound. I've made a video about that. I'll leave a link to my Zoom video in the description as well. Um, but um, uh, the, the thing about this is it will potentially use, uh, you know, higher bandwidth and things like that. So that is always a slight concern. You do just want to make sure that uh, you are aware of that. Uh, next is enable echo cancellation. So I'm hoping that you're uh, being a good Ecamm user and you've got some form of headphones in. Uh, and so you won't necessarily need to worry about the uh, echo cancellation. But also bear in mind that even if you are using some form of speakers, um, then if you are using the Ecamm Live virtual mic, then you may well be using the echo cancellation that's built into Ecamm. So once again, even if you're not using uh, headphones, uh, then you may just want to leave it off here and just have it all controlled within Ecamm if you're using the Ecamm Live virtual mic. So that is the audio settings that you may want to have a look at. Next, we've got the camera and all you're going to do here is just come and drop down to the Ecamm Live virtual cam. And this is perhaps going to, uh, it's taken the, uh, the last shot out of Ecamm actually. I'm looking quite grumpy there, aren't I? <laughs> there we go, uh, very pensive. I don't know what I was thinking there. Uh, but yeah, you can select the, uh, the Ecamm Live virtual camera and now that's going to basically bring your uh, camera feed in. Now, there is a thing about Zoom. If you have used Ecamm Live with Zoom and you have maybe uh, heard about the, uh, the question of, you know, how do you do, uh, how do you get the best resolution out of Zoom? And, you know, Zoom sometimes, downscales things if you're using the virtual camera what are the ways around that there's lots of different uh, videos that I've got done on my channel specifically about this um, you don't have to worry about that uh, so much with Teams because the uh, streaming resolution of it is higher, typically 1920 by 1080, and also the uh, the frame rate is high whether uh, you are screen sharing or not. So sometimes Zoom will drop down the frame rate uh, when you are doing screen sharing, um, but then uh, it will increase the resolution. Uh, but then on the other hand, if you are just using the camera, then it will downscale scale the um, uh, resolution, but upscale the frame rate, or rather <laughs> maintain the frame rate, I should say. So uh, with Zoom, there's a bit of a juggling act that goes on, whereas with Teams, it is just generally higher resolution and higher frame rate uh, off the bat. So you can just take your virtual cam from uh, Ecamm directly into Teams uh, without necessarily worrying about it. Now, all of these things that I've talked about here are actually things that I've talked about and uh, cover in depth, in greater depth, in the Ecamm Live Masterclass. Now, this is basically an online resource covering everything from beginner through to advanced using Ecamm Live, but also covering things like using it with Teams, using it with Zoom, uh, and then also how to use it for giving you know more engaging presentations that you will then potentially be feeding into your meetings. So I cover things like working with PowerPoint and uh, Keynote to make those sort of work hand in hand with, uh, with Ecamm Live without it just being a case of you on one side talking to some slides on the other side of the screen, uh, really making it a part of the, uh, the presentation. I also cover everything uh, that you might be thinking about using with Ecamm Live. So there's software in there like Speedify, Trip Mode, all these sorts of things that work hand in hand with Ecamm. And then not to mention, of course, how could I forget Stream Deck and Loop Deck? <laughs> There's a whole series of videos in there about that. And the great thing about the Ecamm Live Masterclass is that it's always up to date with the latest versions of Ecamm Live. So as a new version comes out with new features and things like that, this will be continually updated and you can get immediate access and lifetime access uh, by going to ecamlivemasterclass.com. Uh, there are over $150 worth of bonuses included and the cost of the lifetime access is $147. So uh, you're basically $3 up already. <laughs> so head over to ecamlivemasterclass.com to find out more about that. Now, once you are in your uh, Teams meeting and you have got your Ecamm Live uh, virtual camera going into Teams, uh, then there are a couple of things that I want to show you in terms of how you might want to set up your actual meeting to make sure that everyone can see your presentation clearly. So I'm going to come over to a meeting that I've got uh, prepared. 
and uh, here it is in full flow <laughs> with all of my many attendees. Uh, now, what I want you to just imagine for a moment, if you will, picture the scene. <laughs> in this black space here within this meeting, I want you to just imagine for a moment that Ecamm Live is actually running and all of the feed of Ecamm is going into there. The reason why I'm not doing this is because I'm just running it on one computer and otherwise we would get this sort of whole tunnel vision of it going to uh, going to infinity as it was replaying you know, what I'm trying to demonstrate to you. Uh, when you are using this, you won't have such issues. This is just purely a function of the fact that I am recording what I'm doing with a virtual camera that is then going into Teams and so it would create this sort of endless loop. So for the time being, just imagine that uh, <laughs> uh, your pretty face was in this box <laughs> uh, rather than mine. <laughs> um, so this is where you would see uh, obviously your view. Now if you'd got lots of different participants, I'm sure you know what a Teams meeting looks like. You would have the different squares of all the different people that were in the meeting. Now, if you are going to be doing a, uh, a presentation, if you are just, you know, in a, in a general meeting and you're just using it for your uh, your main camera, uh, then that, that's that's one thing. But if you are going to be doing something where you're going to be doing a presentation, or maybe you want to demonstrate something on screen, much as I'm doing now, and do a sort of screen sharing of, you know, a document or something like that that you're working on, whatever your use case is, um, then you're going to want to uh, make this large for the participants that are on your meeting. And normally you would do a screen share and so then that would just take over the uh, the screen for the participant. Uh, but actually, we don't need to do this if you are in a uh, meeting and you want to just do it with Ecamm Live. What we can do is rather than come into here and go to share screen, uh, what we can actually do is we can come down here to these three little dots, click on the three little dots and you've got some options. Uh, so first of all, switch camera. We're not going to do that. Uh, pin your um, uh, uh, your image. Um, and then there's this one down at the bottom, hide for me. And this next one is spotlight for everyone. Now that, if you're running the meeting and you want to give a presentation and you're doing it all through Ecamm, that's the easiest and quickest way to just make yourself full screen for everybody. So you click on full screen for everyone, spotlight for everyone rather. Uh, and now um, your whole screen, your whole Ecamm output, including you know whether you are whether you happen to be you know in this view, <laughs> or whether you happen to be in your screen sharing or your presentation or whatever it was, would now be full screen for everyone, or at least you know taking over the uh, the, the 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 window for them. Um, so then you would actually be able to see in here exactly what they were seeing because it's spotlighting them. What you may want to do though is you may want to actually hide it from yourself because you can obviously see it in your Ecamm window. And just so that you can actually see all of the other people in the meeting and see their reactions to your presentation. So what you may want to do then is actually come down to this button again, having done the uh, spotlight for everyone. If you click on hide for me, uh, then what you'll see now is that this is saying invite people to join. But what you would see on your side is you would see all of your meeting participants in here. Uh, but what they are seeing is they are seeing your full screen uh, or sort of spotlighted um, uh, presentation. Uh, if ever you want to get back to your main presentation, you can just click here in this little arrow down at the bottom. Uh, click that one and it will bring your thing back up again. Uh, and then you can come down here at any time and just do exit spotlight. Uh, there is another way that you can do that and then just confirm. There is another way that you can do that though and it says you're no longer spotlighted. There is another way you can do that which is from the uh, show participants. And so you can also do this from uh, in this meeting you can come over here and you can click on the three dots and you can do exactly the same there. So you can either do it from the three dots down here or you can do it from the three dots in the participant list. Uh, and so that is a, a way that I would recommend working with uh, Ecamm Live Virtual Cam into Teams. It is actually uh, a little bit more uh, simple and straightforward than working with Zoom. Um, but I will leave a link to the, uh, the Zoom video that I've done on a similar to topic down below. And in fact, I'll leave a link to my Ecamm Live playlist with loads of great Ecamm Live content uh, so that you can get stuck into that. And I'll see you in that video soon.